that I, I must run and I feel three, two, to be one. Anybody can identify with me this evening. So give me power, Lord, every hour. Say it with me, keep me through. Come on, people, get out of your seat and rock this evening. Rock and give Jesus glory, come. Keep me true, Lord Jesus, keep me true. Yes, keep me true, Lord Jesus, keep me true. Yes, there is a race that I must run. And a victory to be won. Somebody give God praise our word. Yes, every hour. Yes, keep me true. Sing it again this evening. Keep me true, Lord Jesus, keep me true. Worship him. 
Side view unique, religious, masterpiece of Jesus in robe, red sash and crown of thorns. Walking in desert is a great addition to any room in your home or office. We also have Jesus Christ praying to God with hand gesture over black background wearing grey and dark red robe. These unique large size 11 by 17 inches unframed masterpiece easy to hang which makes a great statement piece that will impress anyone who sees it. Whether you're looking to add some religious inspiration to your space or simply wants to enhance your wall with these graphics of Jesus. These wall deco are perfect gifts for your family and friends. To order Jesus graphics of your choice, our graphics of Jesus are sold on Amazon.com. Search for Praying Jesus Wall Art. You can also visit the M&M's Creative Printing Storefront on Amazon Remember Products link in description. Yo, get your stomach! You know, it's a quote in this, a.k.a. Scantily Babas. Along with me, I drink them. Star King, I grade, presents 3 in 1 Earth Day celebration. You know, the 30th of the month called March. You know, right at the Poppy, you know, at Tavern Day. You know, right at the community centre. Music by DJ Platinum, DJ Kelly, One Sky Views. You know, there's some coming to the one, the one that's wicked, the one that's bad, you know, there's some coming. Admission free. Add it up now. Why? The way all the way all Jamaica I celebrate tonight. Me that figure by look like Ali. I wish I wish you name again. Ali. I wait me, me Courtney get some of Ali soup for me. What a bangarang. <laughs> me up a drink like Ali soup. Sure, Ali soup. Yeah, Ali soup. Alice warm interna, you know. Alice warm interna feather a figodo. Hey! Alice warm interna feather a figodo, Courtney. Warm interna feather a figodo. Only if you know what I get our ads run on this platform. Remember, I said 10 and 9,000 people are watching the station at night time. So, only need to put in our ads. Do I have permission to just drink a little soup? I just coming off Isaac Buchanan show. You can go watch Context Matters over Isaac Buchanan. I was over there. Mm. Mm. I, but at this, Alice, you can catch the people then. It's so nice, but it's thick and nice. Link me for the promotion then. We have special I go on for two months. Mm -mm. 
Ma'am special. A night like this, you have to drink the soup in a Jamaica. You see where I go in a Jamaica. <laughs> Every time I put on the term, I have a problem. Every time Courtney I put on the term, I have a problem. When they tell you, say the crow bait and stop it, you know. They write them silent on the street. Hey, you know, see, Monday night. I saw Fia alone, Miss up there. What kind of soup Alisa give me? This is a beef soup with cow skin. Hmm. Beef soup. It got me a nice. See, that nice jummy. A night like this, you don't drink on a soup. Yes. And if you get in the champagne buckle. What a thing in a Jamaica politics. People can't sleep and know say decency still a rain. People can't sleep, Jamaica and know say decency is still a rain. Last night I burned out the crow bait. And remember I burned out the crow bait? Yes, man. The crow bait look like him can't take no more. Think him unstoppable. But the time come. But I'm going to let oil all go down today. Now just give me a little chance. We drink this soup. Mm. But give me a come. little, give me a chance to drink a little but soup. To... Oh, what's in the day? I want to come from again. Don't tell me which part you come from. Me had a roll call. A long time I don't do a roll call. Me, me, me have swallowed a feeling that it's there. I have fought more and I have papi. Yes. Where do come from? Tell me where do come from. A long time I don't know which part you come from. Mm -mm. Tell me where do come from in the comments, man. Hmm? Said Mary. I'll send Mary. Most glad. Send Mary. Go back. Arrange. Yes, man. When you must declare, when you, aye, aye, aye. You so nice, but you know, aye. Courtney, yeah. I'm going to go on in here. Mm. Festive. The team happy. But I will always give me so much bitter. Um, yeah, I don't like your soup, you know. I don't like your mina soup. I don't who like yam in a soup. Eh? Yeah, I am nice in a soup. No, sir, this is a yam bitter. This is a yellow yam bitter. When me drink my soup, I'm be. People are with small and most glad. The people are with small and most glad. Why? This is a Westmoreland gone back PNP. Hmm. Westmoreland and over St. Mary. But I soon talk about the decency coming back to politics. Mm -hmm. Why then it's Meadows? Mm -mm. Oh, you feel it for Dennis Meadows, you see? You don't feel it for Dennis Meadows. Why? Mm -mm. Jesus. Mm. Let me drink my soup and buy, but mind my business. Because this not look good. Also, man, you're not firing. You don't miss the Kahneman soup. Hey, foreign people must miss Kahneman soup, you know. Because you don't get the nice things even at the soup. Central is better to disappoint me. Mm -mm. I want to call Bono. Hello? Hello? Calling from Western Alava. Yes. Big up, big up, big up. Big up. When big last up, you drink some can of soup? When last, when last? Last week, man, for campaign. Hey, Western Alava campaign. I have a little... Oh, we know. Yes, we have a food and all for the people. You know who I don't hear from from election day, Pat Cover. Him, 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 
Mr. tell us how we have the man and man as you know. Heavy, heavy, heavy man as. Mm. So he man and man as right now. I don't hear him. Kingston and St. Andrew. Huh? You don't see that? Hmm. Tell why Williams got to go. Hey. Me no say me hey me me yes the message when me get to sweep it last night gone all about yes he gone everywhere TikTok everywhere mm -mm. Mr. Swaby next me I elect mm. in so now say Andrew all now right God bless you mm. all right I want to start from hello good night yes good night calling from northeast Manchester ah uh, you must feel good don't you take where Christiana yeah. from um when the end hardly Harris Mr. Mm. Harris I only do that for Adley Shasa. Hey, a long time, full time, time come. Mm -mm. Yes, yeah, so what you saying now? Mm? So what you saying now? No, you say we want to say where we're watching from. So I'm telling oh, you. so you're North East Manchester. Yeah. All right, God bless you. Mm. Cool. Mm. You want to see what happened today in the politics, Jamaica? Wanna see what happened in the politics today? Mark Golding set the precedence. He set a precedence, Jamaica. I'm coming to talk about it. Let me just drink this sick of water and come back to the show. I really took a picnic then. Really took a picnic. Yes, Jamaica. Mm -mm. This morning we woke up to the news. Can we put up what Mark Rowling did? Not taking any calls at this time. This morning, Mark Rowling This morning, Jamaica, Mark Golding took the political grit and he sat Dennis Meadows. Can you believe that? Let me tell you what he said. Let me go for what he said. Can't believe. Let me read the press release. I want to read the press release to you tonight. President of the People's National Party, Mark Golding, announces that Mr. Dennis Meadow has been removed as the provisional candidate for North Trelawney. PMP leader Golding state Comrade Meadow's continuation as a candidate is untenable in light of his egregious remarks on this platform, given that scamming is one of Jamaica's most serious national security challenges. Let this precedence be a warning to all who serve in the PMP under my leadership. We are demanding higher standards of accountability. Jamaica will no longer tolerate weak, unprincipled leaders who say one thing but do another. Jamaica deserves better, and I will give it to them. We extend our gratitude to Mr. Meadows to his contributions during this time as the provisional candidate and wish him the best in his future endeavors. Boy, God. What a team. <laughs> Uno ask for bold and stern leadership in this country. Uno get bold and stern leadership. But you know what I feel sorry for Jamaica? Is that over the past year or odd, or year and a half, Dennis Meadows has been using his finances in that constituency. You must say, him no win yet, you know. And in even Monday, he secured three of the five divisions for the PNP in North Trelawney. And to know that all of his money is spent up and him just blunder once and like that, you know, this reminds me of UK politics. You know, UK politics, they just say something wrong. And them just get rid of you. 
this is a new this is a new precedent in our politics but what i will say is what good for the geese must be good for the gander so if mark Golding has set this precedence going forward if anybody in the people's national party should do anything i expect that mark Golding will still have the grits the balls the stamina so i'm using this as the new standard of politics do you agree jamaica slip your slide. as you slip your slide yeah. I'm using this as a new parameter for the politics. Do you agree? This is a kind of politics that is practiced internationally in Singapore. In Singapore, if you do these things, you know, one step in terms of corruption index, you get locked up or you're dismissed. That's the kind of politics that we need to practice in this country. This remind me of Mia Motley. You remember the, this, this speaker in Barbados, Jamaica, who was accused of the whole sexual assault. That I read out and she put him aside what they hear. Yeah, to step down is what is the person calling to say. Hello, good night. Good night, Andre. Calling from East Royal St. Andrew. Yes. Mm -hmm. Miss Juliet, teeth it from we. Yeah, the button not which which where are them teeth? The guy with the guy lose by um 13 votes. Him win when I them put him up and them 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 something that him win. And by choose the money, they say him lose. Who is and them say the, the the Paul Me guy. Mm. And then by choose the um money, them say him lose and then call for counting to so them count today. And Benjamin winning by 13 votes, and him did a lead Benjamin. Well, my friend, take it to a magisterial recount, all right? Me think so too. All right, take it to a magisterial recount. We are talking about the seriousness of the politics right now, all right? All right. God bless you. But when we think of it, Jamaica, me and Motley set up precedence in the region. Probably Matt Golding is adopting the me and Motley principle. A good governor. So like how Mark Golding do that, it's just not good enough. We have to do more. We have to look at the crime rate. We have to look at the corruption. But... Think twice. No, sir. I don't need to stay here. I can be a visiting visitor. Go to Barbados. Come back from time to time. Go here. Go there. One mama son calling me about now. Yes, Mama San, what are you calling me about so early in the program? Mr. Um, listen on no, what I said to you. Uh -huh. Mark Golden not do not the wrong, him do the right thing. So what you say, I say? What you say, I say? Everybody, it go for everybody. Remember before the man told president, you know, the man tell him, say, corruption, I'm a cut out corruption, and I'm not the skull dog grand corruption, mm. and anybody in the film party do not, you know, him a fire them, you know, him talk it before, you know. And if him they keep that man, look how much money he wants to spend. If him they keep him, then see him one that I use against Mark Golden. Him do the right thing and man do nothing wrong. I me lift my head high for Mark Golden and he must stand up for the people of Jamaica mm. and the corruption and the, the skullduggery. I've done it done. So anybody in a PMP party thinks that they want to come in there with them skullduggery and them foolishness. Yes. Mark Golden is there for put them out. We don't be so long them why in a, in a PMP party. Any one of them slip them slide, them are go. So, so that's an example, them are sure you. So that is this man as an example. So you appreciate the example. Very much we live made I to my prime minister. I even the prime minister, I even more time come and do all this. I forgot time come and mark golden in standards. We must set for the people of Jamaica. We are gonna have Everything we are at this area, we are have water, we are going to have light, we are have good road, we are going to have work, a whole heap of things. The young youth, they are going to have good, good education, good structure go there for young people. Mm. And the, the, the old people, they remember, all the way you hear, me hear you big, oh my boy, they will get cases, he say, yo, now this try the people them are told, remember them who are going to and tell them, so they are going to make it different, but what they make it stand up to them words, because you depend on them, 
we alone some the pandem and one will the power under the pandem so them have to do what them said to the people no more i don't see thief in can go on in a politics now mm. yeah so you appreciate no, 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 what no, no, was no. done so yes but i don't like what you just say with all the money where him spend and he's spending him own money he's spending money but him do something wrong and him have to fear the, the consequence of what him do so no matter sing for the money where him did spend oh. you understand but remember say he might come from the labor party you know mm. and that, that them them live off a um, scamming and them something that's why i'm gonna come boy him support the scammer them you know and labor right um you know him see him you know when him come with that you know that member is a whole labor right that. Oh. Uh, oh, say so really so have no sympathy for him. Right style. No, we don't have sympathy for him because he was a flip-flop. All of them will come and come over with their flip-flop them. They're not original. And in the, in now come over PMP party, come mash up PMP. Because you think so the American people, them not, American government now watch me. Mm. And watch your party. And, and remember when Ma did make the speech, you know. Remember Ma did make the speech. I said, my cut out, skull dog, and, and, and all of them foolish, you say, you know. And then they have a man up on the platform at the time support um, scammer. You know what people there that Jamaica choose scamming? Mm. Eh? Innocent family too. Boy, are scam and now give parents say not and family not and family dead because a boy we are scam. Oh. We support my goal in one hundred percent. Him not do nothing wrong. Anything else come and go on with them foolishness. Them a go to any one of them. Hmm. Oh. I hear you loud so and clear. We support him one hundred percent, and nobody can say him do something wrong. Anybody say him do something wrong, them bias. Nobody not saying him do anything wrong. I say it's the new norm for the politics now because I, that is where I'm carrying my conversation to the, the, the next part of the discussion. No, but you did say, remember you were saying that you yeah, were wrong, were wrong, uh, no, Trim spend him own money. That, that's not for the... Oh. Uh, them, they have whole heap of... My, my mom's neighbor, right, you know, saying get whole heap of neighbor, but they will pass scamming money too, you know. My mom's all scammer, you know. Am I all no, scammer, all, you know all you know the man is a scammer. All you know the man is a scammer. They're not even bring up scammer, said support scammer, said no more scammer. How are you? We are idiot. Hey. They're right, they never thief and never scammer. <laughs> so I'm come and boast with it now. I think that so we are going to take in scammer in our, in our party. You understand? If you are doing the scamming, keep it on that board. Now come out to the public house for mash up PMP party. You're so PMP party. Andre, up at your, your station, I want to see where everybody listening, you know. I mean, I send a message to the PMP, them, you know. Yes. So the PMP, them, I love corruption, I love come, 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 come join a different thing on top of them and run president. No more president shall not know for running, you know, they have to leave. My goal, my goal is to that, that, that must say, you know. Leave the man, you know. I mean, I want the money come up, but them are going to run for the president and go run the race with the man, you know. Leave the man, mm. let the man do what he might do. Mm. So me, I want the one that was sit down there. And when they were support Mark Golden, I know Mark Golden reached to the point and forgot go, forgot to turn the Prime Minister and they want to come run um, election against him now. But not just sit down and watch. So where you get that argument that people want on president? No, she we know them style. Me a PMP, me a Tayati PM, but we know them style. Remember them need to push her? And them and Peter Phillips get it. So me don't want them to come with it for Mark Golden after Mark Golden go so good. That be a table, so that's what I to them. So who you are saying not the warning to? Any one of them will have the mind of doing what they're not fit to do. Mm. Yeah, make sure to tell them, no, we must stand there, overseas, and we must send it out early to know. Leave my goal and make him go and steer the boat. I Leave him, make him go and steer the boat. Mm. This boat is still good. And if I do a good job, I do a great job. All right, I hear to the you. Right now. So, have a good night. So, you're giving them, them a warning. Warning. A member to the DAR. Yes. You give them a warning, and if they come out to them foolishness, you know. Member, don't be a kind of, you know. Any one of them come out to them foolishness. We don't want to hear who better for a member. We don't want them to follow that target, so I'm going to let you know. I'm saying quiet, and it never do like myself and you, and all I will attack. Mm. I'm saying, yo, Mark Golly, too quiet, but silence river run deep. See the time your Mark Golly is ready, time come, and no Mark Golly ready for talk and step out. We love the man to him, the man that do, and we are kidding the one in the man, they're not coming, they're foolish. All right. Leave for your people, PMP people, them good job. Leave Mark Golly. All right.
All right, Mama San. All right. You see people put up? You see people put up? Warning, Mama San put out. Mama San put out a warning. So you're giving a warning. Say you're giving a warning. All right, Mama San. Let me. All right, God Hi, bless Mama. you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yes, Papa. All right. Uh, what is for me, Nai Nai? Mister Finzi. How are you, sir? <clears throat> I just come off the campaign trail. Where were you? I do security. I watch from the shadows. <laughs> what you say? I say I do security. I watch from the shadows. See, you were watching the shadows. Watching from the shadows. From the shadows. Mm -hmm. So, Sir Finzi. Mm -hmm. Mark Golding this morning removed Dennis Meadows as the provisional candidate for not Trelawney. What is your take on that? I agree with him. Tell us more why you agree with him. You can't say you're going to run a country based on um, decency and law-abiding principles and have a member of your party set up to represent you, encouraging people to scam. Yes. That's not how it's done. So... In truth and in fact, it was a very low blow. Not so much of a low blow. You never know how far you can go till you're done gone too far. Do you know what Mr. Meadows did? What he did? Set himself up to be accused of being an accessory after the fact. Oh? An accessory? If I know you, thief, if I know you walk into somebody's place and thief something, and tell you that I don't blame you for doing it as long as you use it for proper things. No encouragement, encourage you. Oh, must remember, you know, people mm -hmm. in parliament are said to be lawmakers, yes, not lawbreakers, lawmakers. I think and I've told you this one before. A herd of cow, a, a, a gathering of cows is called what? Herd? Herd. Gathering of birds is what? Flock. And a flock. Yes, a flock of birds. A flock of birds, yes, yes, yes. A gathering of fish is called a school. A school. Do you know what a gathering of baboons is called? Baboons. Parliament. Oh, hey, hey. A gathering of baboons is called what? A parliament. Where you get that one from, Mr. Finzi? Google it. Don't take my word for it. Go research that. A gathering of baboons. Research it and say, oh, wait, wait. A gathering of baboons is called what? A parliament. A parliament. I swear to God. Yeah. Mr. Finzi, I, I wish for you come pay. put that together. I was reading from when I was age three. It's all there. All you have to do is read. No, me, I forgot to sweep that one day right. You don't got to research it and tell me. Yes, sir. You know, you see, you know. I'm not the truth don't need no rehearsal. Yeah, Google it up. Yeah, man, please feel free. But sign. You see it? Me I look feed. Is that Congress? Parliament. A Congress of baboons. Yes. Yeah. Parliament. A Congress of baboons. What is? So yeah, so we have a Congress of. So yeah, so we have a Parliament of baboons. 
I'm not saying that we have a parliament of baboons, but I'm saying I would hope that the similarity doesn't go beyond the aesthetics of semantics. But the way things are going, it looking that way. How can you have... All right, let me ask you this. I yes. This one run closer to your experiences. Mm -hmm. Mr. Meadows, step out of line. It didn't take too long yes. for the leader of the opposition. Remember when you used to call him worthless, in, in a, do nothing, take too long. Bam! No, I mean, it's the same lazy. And him, yes. him, but of course, me, my perception of Mark Golding at first was that him laid back and him, him not have no spruce. And me not have not, me can't talk the truth, me talk but it all the time. Most, some of the most deadly predators have that thing. You don't know they're there until you're dead. No, it didn't take him long to correct that situation. No long argument. Mm. No set of people set up to look at it. Bye. It's been nice knowing you. Wish you all the best. No Why is that fancy? That was up. That 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 one. That one. That one. That hard to swallow. My meeting. Let me not give him a chance. But chance for what? Mm -mm. You have embarrassed the party that you just joined. You know, you're not set in yet. Your first bundle of laundry don't come back yet. Oh. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that the punch are clean. Yes. That is why in certain places that want to hire you for something tangible, put you on probation. He failed mm -hmm. the probation. So the probationary period found him wanting and lacking. In yes. character development. Anybody who knows anything about HR studies will tell you one of the easiest way to get rid of somebody is that you have lost confidence. If you mm. can get up on a platform and say that in front of a whole bunch of people, I don't have confidence in you. Why? Oh, no. Him that him not true, Lord, if, I hope them can still work with him in the party, though, because he have a lot of political expertise. That's nice, but, but I, I have a thing that say, I know what good you have, but mm -hmm. let us hope the bad you have does not outweigh it. Oh, the bad you have. So that little bad that he has outweighs the many good. The no, good, I'm saying that that bad is not little. Oh, is it really that bad, though, Mr. Finzi? What are scammers famous for? Lot I'm um, taking away old people money. Now can we move on? But today there is a breath of you know the same Mark Golding set up Andrew Oldness today. Ah, now you're following me. Right on the heels of that, the Prime Minister of Lessy said, I can't appear to be mama coddling this man. And mm. Mr. Golding don't even blink on him do that. Which is which is a party of law and order. Which is, which is a party of proper behavior. And you know what's so, interesting? The labor rights were cornered today. No, but him said that he accepted his resignation. Giving the so impression. Never that him. Was, yeah, got, got the impression that it was voluntarily given and accepted. Whereas I suspect it was a little more than that. What do you think it would be? Come on my office and bring your resignation with you. You think Andrew tell him, say, come on the office and bring the resignation? Yeah. That is, supposing, although that's a supposition, there is no argument, but that is supposing that the Prime yes. Minister has grown a pair of... Balls? Yes. So after him tell Lisa Hannah... That she had Jezebel. Mm. Tell Curling Brown figure F up or Tara Tara her mother. Is which one to tell Curling Brown again? I think it's I think it's one of them. After him disrespect the police and make the police get um what do you do to the police? You remember when you do deal with the police and call Ori Strong yeah, and the police. After him going to Portland. For doing his duty. Yeah, 
After I'm going to have Portland, you have so much insights and things with this man do. After I'm going to have Portland, go tell Colin Bell if he might think dog flea or fly. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Oh, yeah. What did come again in the election and talk some holy perturbable bad word? Then him come yesterday now. No, no, you miss something. What do you mean? The gospel concert. When do I the gospel concert? Who that miss you? Remember that time I was off the internet, so I would remember. The gentleman have a gospel concert and couldn't get the MC yard out for play properly. And in the big open thing, I hope I don't mess up your program. So what no. kind of fuck for this? Oh, wow. And then ask if them have Cuckoo Do they can play for you. Forgetting that Cuckoo Do usually play a funeral. Mm -mm. So he has done so many wrongs and said all of a sudden now the Prime Minister come this evening and announce that he resigned. But I believe mm -hmm. Today, if Mark Golding never did what he did, he wouldn't have done it. We're at one on that regard. So Mark Golding set him up. I wouldn't say he set him up. He set an example. Oh, yes. But it's like a chess game, Mr. Finzi. I make a move and another move after make. The queen was going to tip the king. Well, in this chess game. Yes. Somebody's in check. You mean by somebody's in check? That's how checks here, man. Before you go check, mate, you go check. Ah. Uh -huh. And if you can't find a move, the next move will be checkmate. Mm hmm? Combine the results of recently conducted poll, not by anybody else, but the people of Jamaica. Yes. And the size of the popular vote. Yes. And with this now following closely on his heels. Mm -hmm. That's check. What I am waiting for. Is his response to Mr. Morgan. Nesta Morgan? Yeah. The one who what said. What about him? Who, what's the name of the gentleman from up Moko? Rome? Yes. So I, think can't we have win. The video. I think we have the video in there now. Can't win. We not under my watch. I want you to play the video with um, Nesta Morgan. It's there, man. He made an almost prophetic out outburst. As long as I am member of parliament, it can't happen under my watch. It's there. It's there. He was he was most profound. Yes. Hold on, let me take this one call tonight. Hello, good night. Good night, Andre. Andre won his figure to into the biggest scam in twelve o'clock at night. I demand. What you said? Andre won his figure to into the biggest scam in my scammer. What kind of scamming a prime minister? Go on, declare winners twelve o'clock at night. Oh, so I'm out in my waivers doing my EOJ, so I must go to. Oh, so how bad you want him go? I'm on Cliff Hughes to go. Oh, well, Cliff Hughes have been private company, he probably just have to get less government contracts. Yeah, I'm not need no government contract. I'm doing this to go now. All right, God bless you. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, hello, good night. Hello, welcome good to night. the program mm -hmm. yes um can i talk yes sir i give you the platform you have two minutes talk man all right i must um salute mr smith i've been watching him from royal palm and he's a respectable person mm -hmm. and uh, it shows that even in real life people like those we need in politics yes second i must congratulate mr golden for the stand that he takes yes 
and I know who she seems to know. The powder of this action. Portia would be proud. And knowing Portia, mm. right. And knowing Portia Simpson, she's a, a leader that we, the Jamaican people, call in high integrity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She is a nonsense leader. Mm. And if she was leading, yes. as we know her, most of the things that, that is taking place in both party mm. should have taken drastic actions. True. If, if it's able to take the step to put people in prison, she will. She's a no-nonsense leader. That's and uh, that is one of the reasons why people never feel comfortable with her. Now, we need somebody to step out. Like Mr. Golden, he's setting the first example. And I hope he continues mm. to do likewise. And well, that's the only thing I have to say. All right, my yes. caller. Thank you so much. Let us play that video right, now to look at how Nestor Morgan was bigging up him chest. Is that the people of the of Mocha do not believe in Romain Morris. Romain Morris has crossed the floor, which is his right. But I will say to you as member of parliament, he will never win Mocha division as long as I'm a member of parliament and I have put that door. <laughs> What the man says, as long as he's member of parliament, he will Romain never win. Want. So, are we to take it? He's no longer the member of parliament. <laughs> he's still the member of parliament. But him says, as long as he's member of parliament, the gentleman can't win. But, but that is just mere political, exp political banter. No, that's not banter. That type what of statement, is, considering the facts that were sitting in front of him, is can only be described as lateral. Can be described as what? Lateral. Lateral. Yes. Oh. You know, a latrine, lateral. <laughs> hey! Almighty God! We are we are in lateral. Yes. <laughs> We're tired of the labor rights. We're tired of the green people. We are so far. We can't take it no more. We need this. We need this. We need it. Help. Help. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength. Is a liberator to draw me. Why? Mr. Finzi. Mm. A latrina. Yes. So you yeah, say wait. So wait, yeah, say Nesta Morgan Mota. <laughs> a latrina. No, but, what, but apparently what comes from it could be. <laughs> you know, a lot of people are saying that that guy will be Andrew Holness's demise. Mm hmm if. Do you know? Do you know the history? Well, you should of that gentleman's interference with people's Facebook and other situations like that. Mister Pins, his what do you mean by his interaction with people's Facebook? You have people who are of the distinct impression that their accounts being cancelled are directly open to his intervention. That is their impression. Well, the allegations he put up is that him. Him have access to Twitter and thing and him have IP address. I remember that. I think I can find it, you know. Hold a second. So I'm not talking crap then? He said these statements. I think I can find it. Put it up when you get the chance. Let me put it into the studio. He made some statements sometime. Ago. I can't find it, man. It here. All right, I sent it to my media team. Just be advised, I won't allow anyone to defame me and get away with it. Mm -hmm. My lawyers are on retainer. Mm -hmm. I have IP addresses for Flow mm -hmm. and Digicel as agreements, as well as agreements with Twitter. Facebook and Instagram. 
I will use the full power of the law to protect my reputation in the US, the European Union, and Jamaica. Why in, in, in strong, sir? You hear what I'm saying? I have IP addresses for Flow and Digicel, as well as agreements with Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. His spirit, of, his spirit of influence rivals the girth of his neck. But he not done it, Mr. Finzi. That's what I'm saying. But he said the man lateral. Can you believe you? Can you put it up? I want Jamaica to see that this is a kind of abuse that is happening to the Jamaican people under the information minister. And after he said this, you know, he hurriedly withdrew it from Twitter, but it was screenshot. Mm -hmm. You hear what he said? Please be advised. I have IP addresses for Flow and Digicel, as well as agreements with Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. What do you mean by that? Priority. You never think about that, Jamaica? As a threat. It's a serious threat to access to the, to the freedom of the press and information, you know? No, it, I, on top of that, what it is, it, it is um, an offense under the Cyber Crimes Act. Yes. It's a serious thing. And they know the guy himself as long as he means minister or MP. He's what? Romain will never ever see. Counselor. But I wonder who is so silent. Anybody see any sign of Nesta, Marga? Mr. Finzi, when lots of press conference keep with him. What is usually kept can't be called a press conference. <clears throat> it is more of a propaganda machine. But Mr. Finzi, mm -hmm. like how in mouth lateral is what kind of toilet paper I recommend? Face towel. <laughs> what is so toilet paper can too thin. Too thin. Too thin. I will forget get nappy. Oh, me know what I can get for me, Mr. Finzi. You want one for give? A wrapper? I won't be that close to the gentleman to be able to pass on the gift. But I think with your security expertise, you can send a driver to go drop off this, like when they get the defamation letter. What do you hear? You, you should know where I'm living. Me no, no, sir. As to his place of abode, it holds absolutely no interest in, for me. So what's your take on the, the local government election, Mr. Finzi? What is, what's your take with the EOJ? The EOJ was, was caught between a rock and a hard place. Why? And with all deference to the gentleman running it, he did the best he could under the circumstances. And he had to make sure he crossed every T and dotted I's as many times as he could. Wrong T. Uh, which is why the thing took as long as it did. The thing I'd like to ask you is, was it legal for the Speaker of the House to be present at the counting? Ah, was it legal? It is her. It, she's a member of Parliament. Yeah. Oh, she did the counting and she are MP. Exactly. So why the PMP never contested that? Because I think the results did all the speaking for them. So, when you look at that matter now, mm -hmm. with she and the EOJ, mm -hmm. and when you look at the matter of 
It could have been called exercising undue influence. So you think she was trying to use her office and the power? I, I say nothing of the sort. I'm just saying it could be said or could be construed that undue influence was being exerted. But she was overpowered by the signal in the sky. The report. I gather yesterday that they, they, they couldn't come to grips with the reality that it done. The entire division was won by the PNP. Mm -hmm. Because the KCC is the most powerful council in the country. Mm -hmm. And with many people having problems with the buildings around the island, in K the Kingston and St. Andrew. It's a thing, just won't come back. No, I'm here. Many people argue that the Kingston and St. Andrew has a lot of issues in with pertaining to the building code. Mm. You have a gift for understatement? You must also bear in mind that the Speaker of the House yes. has at least one outstanding matter. The Speaker of the the least flat matter. Yes. The 800 million apartment. Yes. And I am sure there are other many matters that the building codes probably have been breached. So I called and yesterday. Which may now come to light. I called yesterday for the mayor to do an audit of the building the buildings department. What's your take on that? Which mayor? Mayor Swaby. Okay, yes. What do you think that they should do first in the KCC? If you were a technocrat or advisor to the KCC, tell me what you'd want the mayor to first to look at. Give me the top three. Pause and do a forensic audit of all matters that have to do with fees being paid and functions being carried out properly. Mm -hmm. One, whilst that is going on, mobilize a contact with the National Solid Waste Agency. Yes. And start from downtown, mm -hmm. around where people sell food. Yes. Clear an open lot. They must have somewhere around here. Put in tents and port loose for the time being move vendors to that and then bring the fire department down there mm. and wash down the entire place bring in the ministry of health and yes. decide what drains need to be rehabilitated mm -hmm. and what needs to be done whilst mm. that is being done try find some funds somewhere to establish proper sidewalks so you don't okay. have Haitian like open gutters with sewage running through it. Wow. Then tell the market vendors mm -hmm. that they are going to get a six months rebate on market fees as a compensation for the situation they have been living in for the past God knows how long. And while you're doing that, issue proper IDs and licenses for vendors. That's a lot of work. That is why ministers are called servants. Then this is what I'm going to get elected for. For Tansa Bak. Mm. Interesting. Then do a recruitment process in the area yes. to hire, train, and mm. maintain wardens for the market. Yes. Properly outfitted with proper and vests and everything. So and total they, reformation of the market is important. It's crucial. You are running a restaurant. Where you buy your food stuff? Down the market. And you like trying to balance sweet potato with Irish potato and 
tomatoes jumping sewage? Well, the sewage system downtown is a serious one and it needs to be addressed. And it's someone not supposed to take too long. You're supposed to have map in the case you see over where the sewage pipes are running. And if you have too much trouble, abandon those and put in a new junction box and go. Look like you need to be the right hand to the mayor. Boss man. Yo, I tell you that. Why. Our problem in this country, amongst others, mm. is that we look for complex solutions to simple problems. So how that simple that... is the problem, Mr. Finzi? Because it seems as though it's a complex matter for years, especially the dream. It can't be that bad, man. Because KCC is supposed to have a plan over where every gully and every sewage pipe run. Mm. I wonder what people say. I open the phone lines. I want to hear tonight. I want to hear people call me and tell me. Mr. Finzi, for like 10 minutes in the program. What they think must be the priority actions for the mayor. I don't think that's fair. What do you think Mayor Swaby should take as his priority actions? You Mr. Finzi is saying tonight he should really take on the market. The market is in a bad state, you know, downtown with the old heap of muck. Sometimes I wonder how people drive yeah, go up on the road. Hello, good night. Welcome to the program. Hi, good night. Yes, turn off. Hello, good night. On the ear all the time, turn off the TV. Hello, good night. Welcome to the program. Andre. Yes. Andre, good night. I have spoken to you for quite a while. Turn off the TV, sir. All right. Welcome back, Andre. Yes. Uh, when, welcome back, Mr. Finley. Mm -hmm. I, the last time I was, when I was in New York, I spoke about Mr. Finley being a patriotic Jamaica. Yes. No. I heard tonight. The first thing the case is, is KCFC is supposed to do yes. is to look at every building permit that was granted to the Prime Minister and his wife. The building permit. All building permit that was granted to Judith Wallace oh. and the Prime Minister. Mm. It must be reviewed. Oh, so that's yeah. going to be a serious thing. All right, thank you. So that is the one you want to look at, the building permit. Yes. All right. All right. God bless you. So tell me, I swear, we need to look at the building permits. A lot of people talking about that. Hello. Good night. Hello. Good night, Andre. Yes. What is that you want me, I swear, to address? Put in a forensic audit. First thing, put in a forensic audit. Uh huh. We need, we need a forensic audit of the case MMC. Find the audit of what? Of the whole entire corporation. All right, we're looking to that. The forensic audit. Yes, and um, and the matter of Mark Golden and no, Hope no, we're, we're focusing now on the issue of the cases. Yeah, but I know, I know, yeah, I know, we, we, I know, I know. I'm focusing on the issue of the cases, you know. All right. I just, to, I just want to remind people that Mark Golden is a very stern man. And the Garden Football Club. He fired everybody the first time he went in there as the, as, as, as the head of that football club. Oh. So he's a no-nonsense man. All right. No problem. Mm. <laughs> I said, fire everybody. Don't get on it. Yeah, I what a bang around. Hello. Good night. Good night, Andre. Yes. God bless you. How can I assist you now? What do you want me to swim it today? They probably want to do all that work that you're telling him to do, but will they let go the money? You see, they start threatening the money already. What money they threatening? You forget some Mr. Warmington say no, nah, they not nah, let go the money. So you know, see them fire, fire Warmington ladies so them, them have to set a new president. Well, uh, so you know, but are they intention? That's why I'm talking. So, oh. the, so the man can want to fix the market and want to do all of these things. What will he get the money to do it? Well, it's the municipality funds that will do it, not central government. All right? Okay, no problem. Hello, welcome to the program. Good night. 
good night, Andre. Yes, madam. Mr. Swaby, can is he responsible for Juliet and the chop them? The chop them? Yeah, the if I chop them, what she have? I don't. Okay. Juliet want to have chop, lady. What if I dump a chop them on me here, so she have? Well, me don't know Juliet want to have chop. You don't forgot to check. Me don't want me to come put me in a mix up on a chop. Me no, can. Mm. we have a lot of chop where we are all kind of goodies and nobody else can get a chance. Can oh, so yeah, so if the truck, I mean, at the case, says he swear he must get them out. Yeah, if if if, if, if you can get that, them out, she own too much. All right, let us look if she have truck in a case. As much thing she get? What a banger. Yeah, so you know, yes, so she have one whole heap of truck. Yeah, but I Nobody never know has... them in the case, see. No, me, I don't know, 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 me, I don't think them in the case, see, man. Oh, hmm. I wish the partner that, you know. Don't quote me on it. It's a ledge that I eat yeah. to the backside. Something there. Don't quote me on it. All right. Oh, mm -hmm. so in another another department then. No, no, no. Backside business. Mm. Oh, mm. oh, oh. All right. Oh. Mm. All right. Hello. Welcome to the program. Mister. Good night, teacher. Yes. The first thing Mister. Swim need to do. Yes. We turn our meet with all. Uh, the market vendor and carpet here and street side vendors. Oh, they were town hall meeting. Yeah, with all the market vendors and the street side vendors. Mm. And then you can listen to their, their flight and hack up on their flight. So the street side vendors and the market vendors? Across the carpet here. All right. I love that idea. Thank you for that. Okay? Yes, sir. Mm. Hello. Good night. Good night, Andre. Calling from Queens, New York. Yes. And I encourage you to continue to do the good work that you're doing. Yes, thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. We want Jamaica to clean up thoroughly. Yes. With all the corruption from the head to the toe. Wow. So what Mr. Mark is doing, like, I can find this the year. Because I, too, was saying that he's not taking any action. Mm. Everything that is going on here... And the, the gentleman that is speaking about the how he should deal with the market, because it's a long time the market is in that condition. Mm. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. The new mayor, the market is one of the main to start okay. and the building. So the market. I want him. Yes. All right. God bless you. The market. You. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hello. Good night. Hello, Hi, Mr. Andrew. Good night. Yes, good night, Miss Sonia. What What is the one thing you want the mayor to address? The mayor, but I would like him to do the auditing and what Mr. Martin said. It's good. Hmm. So you want it to be auditing? I would like him to do the auditing. Yes, and what Mr. Martin said is very good. All right. Mr. Thank Mr. you for that. Very good. Thank you for that, my mother. Right. Bless you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm just doing a simple segment on this tonight. I really want to hear from the people. So when I speak to the mayor, I can say, Mayor, these are the top things that the people are speaking of. Hello, good night. Good night, Andre. Good Blessings night. to um, you, sir. Good night, Uncle Bobby. Mm -hmm. um, yes, one minute, um, a team like Uncle Bobby did that can do some good, some good opinion and things like that. They're like him, um, like you know, with us merge and deal with that because they must serve you know, and and he might not see certain things or yeah. certain things were important at the time. Yeah. And Uncle Bob or you can come with the idea and say so and so on. And then think I will go forward, you know. Probably because what I he mean, needs no, to do is create an advisory council. Create. Well, not no wrong. Not no wrong, you know. But, but we want to see we want to see Jamaica nice, you know, man. Jamaica sweet, you know. Yes. As you know, see, as mango out, like breadfruit and something in, man. Mm -hmm. When God didn't make the time, he spent a whole heap of time on it. You know? So he spent a whole heap of time on Jamaica? You know, God, good God, mm -hmm. man. Jamaica, nice, man. Sweet. All right. Thank you for that, okay? Mm -hmm. God bless you. God bless you. Oh. Hello, caller. Welcome. Good night. Good night, Andre. Good night. Blessing. What do you want bless the mayor to, to address? Well... You know, so many things going on in this country, Andre, where some of the men can't hear themselves. Oh. 
Yeah, some of them can't themselves. Hmm. Especially those who are in a power, they can't help themselves. They make promises that they can't fulfill. But the mayor is in a position now because he's mayor, he can help well, himself. He is mayor now. I can see what he do. All right. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello. Welcome to the program. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Wow. Hello. Welcome to the program. Hi, good night, Andre. God bless you. Good night, mm -hmm. everyone, and Mr. Smith. All right, on the matter of the market, I agree. But I recognize we're only focusing on coronation market. We have another market in Blue Plain, which is the fish market. Oh, we Jesus, have another that market. is... Mm -hmm. We have another market that is across from the park that has been locked up for years now. They started some work. I don't know if the work is finished, if it's in between or where it is. Mm. But that market is locked up for years now and the vendors are on the road that says so a restoration of all the markets so all the markets need to be restored not just carnation market but all the markets because i personally don't go back in the fish market because it's not sanitary and when last the fish market they open it, it is still in operation and a roadside the fish market there a roadside the fish market there the fish market yeah, no it, still is, they still have it operating, and people still go in there and so. Oh, I never know that because the fish market, they don't want serious a roadside missing them. Mr. Finzi, when last you go to the fish market? Haven't been in quite some time, but let me put it this way it is uh -huh. not something you'd like so to try and scale. All, all right, caller, thank you for that. All right, mm. what is it, Mr. Finzi? It is not some place you would like to try and scale over because you ain't dropping or something. It's, you can't sell edibles in a place where it feels very close to sewage. It, it don't get stinky you now. It stink bad. What I want you to know, know is this. Can't mm. you have a program with the fire brigade? You see, every night at around 8 o'clock. Clean it out. You must come and wash it down. Next mm. thing is, why don't they designate specific days as vending days for certain streets? Car can't go on it. You block it off and then set up them stalls and the streets are pedestrian. Mr. Finzi on the screen. Mm. You can go ahead and talk, Mr. Finzi. If you make these places that they're selling these things, like certain streets, you lock it off on a Thursday or a when, whatever the day is. And no cars can drive there. It's pure stalls. And when that day is done, you wash down the place and you're gone again. It's people going there to shop and it's people selling. As long as you keep it like that, nefarious-minded people are going to find a way to infiltrate the place. Because it's one big jumble up. Put in additional security cameras at a central location being monitored. And I would like this mayor to explain to the public. I believe I have gained that right. My finger says so. Tell me, where does all these goods that them lick down people stall and take and move out? Where do they go? That's a have, good thing. Enough. Have these people been given any receipt as to what them take from them? Has it occurred to anybody that your demolition of stalls and season of goods have just yes. deprived a child of dinner? True. I asked the question too many times and can't get an answer. So you want to know tonight? Mm -hmm. Those stars that are demolished. Yes. Where the things go from there. Exactly. Is that an interesting one? Here? Where do things go from this star? And you lick my you lick my stall and you take 50 pair of jeans, some shirts, some blouses, whatever. Where have they gone? You're not even put me in a position to say you're fining me and I must come and recover them at a given spot. Mm. I'm paid the fine and you have 
cal encapsulated my goods in a way that I can identify them. Maybe I see one of the policemen them walking down the road with him girlfriend wearing one of my jeans. Yes. Hey, what a bang an argument is that every time them take the things them care them go them yard. I would like them to be able to dissuade that thing from people's minds. Openness. Ask how many people from the now defunct are soon to be defunct building permit section. I don't remember what it's called. How many of them have apartments in some of the buildings they have been approving? How many of them? The last time I thought that I nearly get a defamation last week, so I shut my mouth on that one. Day. No, I'm not saying it's so. I just want to know if it is so. Tell me how many. If it is none, prove it to me that they don't. Or them have people holding it in proxy. True. And again, how do they then fill out their integrity forms? And that's another thing. So I want to ask you now. It's all... Mr. Finzi, mm -hmm. with all of our years of looking at, is how comes Warmington resign? Is what really caused warming? I never knew him, 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 him did. I thought he was untouchable. You started the slide. And he Me? kept looking over the edge till it dropped. Me? Yes, you. Because last night I give it to him. Well... I said it in other places. Do you know how landslides and avalanches start? Mm -mm, tell us. Because you're the history. Snowball, and when it starts to roll, nobody notices it. Till it gather more snow and thing. And all of a sudden, is one big boulder. By the time you take note of the big boulder, everything gone. But this is a new day for the Jamaican politics. It's a new standard. If we allow it to be, and don't make it a nine-day wonder, and figure that because of the other night, everything is rosy. It is just the beginning if you really want good for them. But I don't say, I oh, know the Prime Minister condemning Warmington. I hear that the party, but I don't hear Andrew Wallace come out to condemn him. It's like he's still afraid of it. You know any old tune? Any old tune? Let me tell you a old song. Uh -huh. Remember who who used to wash your diaper? Who used to hug and kiss you? Don't forget. People have secret for people. <laughs> so wait, the Mr. Mr. Finzi. Uh -huh. Okay. That is a serious one, you know. This labor right calling me. I need to take the call. Yes, Mr. Labor right. <laughs> As I agreed, me. <laughs> yes, you're a labor right. You say you're a labor right. I have to identify you according to your to your 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 your, your, your antecedents. <laughs> so how you Believe feel that like Mr. Warmington resign? I am most happy. As a matter of fact, I spoke to an organizer of um, Dr. Wall on the night, mm. and I said to him, I want to congratulate her on finding a chink mm. in the armor. I yes. a chink the likes of what was described in Portland, you know, a ah. chink in the armor mm. of uh, Mr. Warminton. Mm. And I even said to him, if the Labour Party cannot get rid of him. I was hoping that the People's National Party would get rid of him. But nonetheless. Oh, so you're personally right. not a fan of Warmington and your Labour, right? I'm a fan of decency, my friend. You're a fan of decency. D-E-C-E-N-C-Y. Decency. And everything that Mr. Warmington represents is anti-decent. Yes, but I'm not here to speak about Mr. Warmington. Oh, I thought it was that. What you come here to no, talk no, no, about? No, 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 no. I'm here to just I, I, I just wish that um, people would be fair in their assessment of the whole thing. I think we, we people people tend in Jamaica, which has been our... So what are you being unfair with now? 
Now, our Achilles heel is that we tend at all times to score political points. And I wish we would say that, I wish we would understand that what Mr. Warmington did was really untenable. What Mr. Meadows did was really untenable. Instead of us telling about, you know, back up in a corner and you back up Mr. Holness in a corner and this and that, we need to move away from that. We but that was what, what happened. No, what happened? What happened is this. A man said something on a stage which was the, of the worst kind mm. and the leader of the party acted. That man is not a member of parliament. That man is trying to get into the parliament. Oh. There's another man who has been brutish for all his life mm. who said something about the state's money. And, it, and that is what backed the prime minister into a corner. What the man said is what backed the prime minister into a corner because the prime minister could not escape from it. Civil society was on him. Everybody was on him. So you don't it, think it, it's it, because it, of Mark Golding? It, it can't be. It can't be because of Mark Golding. Two people did something that is wrong. Two parties. Well, other people see it wrong. online. My perspective. Pardon I believe me? Andrew Golding's yes. hands were forced today you, you, you because know, you know of the actions of Mark Golding. You know why I said this? I heard you a while ago say so you don't hear Andrew Golding speaking about. What's his name? Warmington. Mm. But I don't hear Mark Golding speaking about Meadows. Of course, in the what in the in the, the message this morning, Mark Golding said he's not going to tolerate that and him condemn it. No, 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 no. That's a message that came out on a on, on a piece of paper. The two different things. But you, at you least get, something you, you, came out no, no, to no, say no, that. No, no. We, we, Andre, we need to stop this. We need to stop. This. What I must stop? What I must stop? We need to call it as it is. And I'm calling it we as need it to is. Call it as it is. Today. And I'm trying to score political points. Who is because it? that is what has held us back over the years. When we see something that happen, mm. we must call it what it is. It's a, it's, a, it's a good move by both parties. Not talking about leaders, you know. Good move by both parties. Because at the end of the day, it's and DLP. All right. I, I listen to you. I hear you know what must, you say. We must stop it. We must all stop right, it. all right. I'm not going to in any argument with you tonight, but I'll leave You're your not word. Going at with me. Anyway, you take care of yourself. All right, Mr. Labor, right. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God yeah, bless yeah, yeah. you. Yes, hello, good night. I can't take when the labor at them call me program sometime. You know. Hello, good night. Andre. Yes, Mr. Finzi. Do you know the worst embarrassment that can happen? Mm. Is when you're embarrassed for somebody else. True. You just experienced. Because I still have not heard the Prime Minister come out and condemn the act of Warmington. And the and the sanctity of public funding was breached like a ten year old virgin. True. And nothing and comes that out. Alone of should make you open your mouth and say. Under my administration, there will be no victimization of any sort, and we, we decry it. And I, I, I am very sorry to have had it happen. It will not happen again. Argument done. Yes, a little more. So, but Mr. Fizzi, by, by doing that, you open Mr. Warmington's war chest because remember, Mr. Warmington is not above attacking prime ministers of his own party. You remember oh. when he went after Mr. Golding? Golding, yes, true. He went and, after Bruce and I Golding. Have to believe it may be a retaliation for when Mr. Golding said, "Not in my cabinet." So what, Mr. Mr. Finzi, I went over Mr. <laughs> you know what, Mr. Finzi? Hmm. So, oh, Bruce Golding, not in my cabinet, affect Mr. Warmington. Don't Mr. tempt me, Andre. Mr. Finzi. Hmm? What? Mr. I'm going to ask you tonight. Come here, read a man now. Hmm? Mr. Finzi. Hmm? What? Does Bruce Golding sentiments have to do with Mr. Warmington? Are you certain you want to ask me that question? Because I spoke about my experience. I am going to put it to you that you have first-hand knowledge of the reason why Mr. Golding said 
he would not be entertaining anybody of that ilk in his cabinet. Yeah. And if you check the records, Mr. Warmington was never in Mr. Golden's cabinet. Oh. You know what? The producer, they must shut them out over there and play. You know what is? Make we take a quick break. The place get too hot. Okay. Eli. Make we take a quick break. The place get too hot. Eli, Eli, Eli. Yes, comrades! Youth and youth! Undecided photos! PNC coming again! So tell your neighbor, tell your friend! Green man, I ride with like mule! And I set the nation for fall! But we have a new name for him! What a name! His name Eli! Boy, we tired that he live a pay. They drive across the bus and the country going down the drain. Yes, we tired that he live a pay. Poverty a bus we shut and we going insane. Why? Why? Eli. Add the new name for the bus driver. Eli. That's how you hear from every corner. Eli. The name a ring throughout Jamaica. Eli, 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 Eli. On a Monday, Eli. on a Tuesday. Eli. On a Wednesday, on a Thursday, Eli. on a Friday, Eli. on a Saturday, Eli. two time on a Sunday. He lie, 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 he lie, 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 lie. He lie, tell we say he man go build up the country, put money in our pocket and a end poverty. Promise the farmer them, them man go drive SUV. No we just the bus, him a blame the MP, but he Eli is a rookie driver. Eli. Him cannot run Jamaica. Eli. He go sit down back in the harbor. Eli. Him to lie and out of order. He lie, lie, lie. Eli. Mr. Finzi. Yes, sir. You know too much of my business, you know. No, me, sir. I don't gain it anywhere else but your program. Hmm. But that's a serious thing, though. Yeah. But it's a new day in Jamaica politics. We can't breathe to say there are new standards to the governance and the, the, politics of, the politics of accountability. Yes. If it is not treated as a nine-day wonder. Mm. And because the PNP appears to have gotten the upper hand in the recently held election, that they don't become laid back and say, we'll win. You don't win yet. You have just started the long journey to decency. But Mr. Vinzi, you're no, prime no. minister, not my prime minister. You're prime minister. Jamaica's prime minister. And I might so say I'm a Jamaican for the time being. So, so you I, owe, I, I owe his I owe his office respect. As to the holder of it, that is debate. Hmm? Mr. So Finzi, oh man, if we wake up 12 o'clock at night, I say him win election. You ever hear this in Jamaica history? 12 o'clock at night, people are usually dreaming, so it might have been a nightmare. <laughs> hey! So what you say? Him mm. did I have, him did I walk. I walk in sleep. I walk in dead. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride. Well, Andrew, remember saying at 2 o'clock like I heard the morning he used to death on the road. You know? So, Mr. Finzi, mm. nobody has declared him the winner except him. And where him come from in the electoral history for that? Desperation lends us to approach areas we would normally avoid, like the plague. And I think what could have happened uh -huh. Is one of his contrived allies, um, gentleman from Bradley Avenue. Oh, nation, yes, that one. Got hey, a, that one that that one that couldn't sit down in a Mr. Finzi. I'm very proud. Ah, him look like him did a shit. Couldn't believe <laughs> Mr. Finzi look like same of the you ever hear my run up a program. When I see Mr. Finzi, when I tell the truth. Say, declare winner and just done program nine. I never see Cliff would have gone until 10, 11. 
he probably he didn't want to be there when the phone call came. Oh, you know the one that said, oh, "What you just do?" <coughs> I don't care if it's so. You don't say so. But Mr. Finzi, mm -hmm. this is a serious wake up call to the labor rights the minute. I don't know if had it a wake up call. Had it been general election, Rhoda would have, <laughs> yet me not call certain name. Central Manchester MP would be gone. Mm hmm. Um, the Westmoreland MP, them would have gone. All three of them. Mm -hmm. The two Hanover MP would have gone. Mm -hmm. Now Trelawney would have gone. Mm -hmm. The St. Mary seat, them two St. Mary seats would have gone. Mm -hmm. Who else? Who else? Come on, man. You are, oh, missing, you are missing some of the possibility of the St. James seats. Well, I don't know. I never look at the St. James seats in full. I'm saying that the possibility of it. Mm. But then, even Michelle Charles, she, she would, would have gone. Yes. Michelle Charles. Because yes. she lose. She lose, but of the four, I think only one she win. Out of the four. Mm -hmm. So that's a sign and wonder. Mm -hmm. Serious sign and wonder. Mm -hmm. So what are what do you think Jamaican people telling Andrew Holmes from this election? Sit up and take notice or look where the exit sign there. You think them? You think them? You think that Jamaica fed up him and want to give him up now? I think they are a little disconcerted. The problem is, all right. Do you know the worst thing a man can do to a woman? Yes. Make her believe in him so much that she boasts about him and then just mm. because him have a woman with her. She will kill him. True. You have to sleep with here in your damn year, same year in the water, boy. Wow. Because what has happened is mm -hmm. he portrayed himself as the end all be all of all things new. And then actions showed otherwise. And people who were boastfully touting him couldn't believe it. Yes. And then the people they were touting him to have no sympathy are the ones now said, hold on, wait a second about him. I didn't see a man that. So they are now pissed because they are embarrassed. How many people have you met who voted in 2020 elections? Mm. Who are willing to admit that they did and who they voted for? Repeat that. How many people have you met who voted in 2020 elections who are willing mm. to admit that they voted and who they voted for? I I, I know a few. Few. And mm, few don't make many. There are people who feel betrayed. Because you have people walking up to them and say, okay, it's an infolio. But you don't really believe the door and window open business. But that was from 2016. Yes, but they carried it to 2020. Wow. And forgot entirely that there was a reason why people elected the PMP for 18 years straight. And then there was a gap between those 18 years and now. What the gap is? I don't remember the exact figures, but work it out. How long was Bruce calling it? But it's about 11 years of labor, right? They're ruling it. Yes. There's a joke I heard the other day uh -huh. in a place I won't disclose. But it was unholy as funny as it was. Remember, when Mr. Cos Porsche for her traveling mm. and said she should do something by Zoom? Yes. A gentleman under one or two, matter of fact, he had gotten to the point where he had a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of blood in his alcohol stream. Mm. Say, and I quote him, 
Il y a un proche à Gokchaina, comme 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 à Yes, talk to us about the hospital. I have intimate knowledge of that hospital. I used to be the security consultant for the Western Regional Health Authority. Oh. That, so hospi us. that hospital is centrally air conditioned. Mm. It means, and all they didn't paint the thing, so is raw concrete then. Yeah, uh -huh. a beautiful nesting ground for something called spores of what you call it asbestos. No, 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 the, the um thing that grows on walls and fungus, Mara. Fungus, yes. Mm. So now you have fungus growing in a hospital yes. that is centrally air conditioned. And what it has led to? Think about the fact that they had a morgue on the ground floor. Oh. So now, that adding to it and just running through the system. First thing that needed to have been done, because have you been in that structure? I've never been to Cornwall Regional Hospital. It is like an open full floor plan. You mm. can stay on certain floors, you can stay on one side and look across to the other. So now, they are an attempt to get, what you call it, there now, ventilation running through. Yes. Combine these open plans with wherever their air conditioning going to the various mm. enclosed areas. What is the one system running? Now, when you don't change those filters, you're just messing up everything else. The waste for medical waste at one stage wasn't being properly dealt with. Wow. So what was needed to have been done was close down wards mm -hmm. Renovate and clear it out in terms of disinfecting everything. Change the air conditioning system. Wow. And then put split units. But somebody tried to make the best of all worlds. Mm. So the first estimate did not even come close to addressing the problem that was the, the but the money start to run and so that people, was when them allocate the first four billion yes and then now before them even finish people start to calculate cost overruns Mm. There's a thing in construction called your defects clause. Mm -hmm. So that if you have defects within a period of time, you can tell the contractor, you know, I get no more money till this fix, you know. Yeah. By the time that come around, the man don't spend the money already. Has it never occurred to you how this cost quadruple? Yeah, I was wondering. You don't have to be an architect or whatever. Just call the nurses together and say, what are your major problems? The nurses could tell you. Mm. But they are just cannon fodder. If oh. you think it but you should have go across to what used to be the nurses' quarters. What are the nurses' quarters like? Raw concrete, small, 
person up behind the hospital near the gully. Part of my security problem was trying to ensure that people couldn't come up, cut the chaining fence, and go in on the nurses. Mm. So overall, the hospital has just have had poor planning from inception. Yes. But as long as money was running, nobody was complaining. So this 21 billion now, you think it will make the hospital finish? Next question. <laughs> Mr. Finzi, I'm going to ask you again. Uh -huh. The 21 billion that they say it is going to cost now to renovate the hospital. When you say next question, it simply means say, by the time we look, it probably reach a hundred billion dollars. I'm telling you that the I forgive me, I'm just a poor soldier. My understanding in logistics and planning is this: mm -hmm. if I'm going from point A to point B, and when I'm part way there, I realize that I cannot make it with the supplies I have. It is my job to pause. Reevaluate, yes. see where my original cost structure was flawed, mm. and then set a program of checkpoints. Yes, I need this, and this is supposed to carry me here, and I need that, mm. and that's supposed to carry me there. But you can't keep you, you, you so me. what you, do you, you, know, think you know the song that's called There's a Hole in the Bucket. Mm. I will sing that song again. There's a hole but, in the bucket. There lies a there. And by the time I get to the end, with what shall I mend it? With straw. Okay. With what shall I cut it? With a knife. But I want to with ask. What shall you I know. sharpen the knife with a stone? With what shall I wet the stone? Water. With what shall I get the water? Use the bucket. But there's a hole in the bucket. So what I'm going to ask you now, don't you think it would have been better for them to just build a new hospital? Or retrofit the one they have to a less extensive purpose whilst they build the new one. Mm. Would have been cheaper. Do you know, I've told you this before, but let me remind yeah. you. There was a time in Jamaica when every parish had a hospital, you know? Various mm. grades, but every parish did. They were either turned into health centers or closed. Mm. And they centralized everything. During that time, a lot of our nurses, very experienced, and some doctors, took a trip. Mm. But there's some interesting development. Mm -hmm. I want to show you a video tonight, Mr. Finzi, based on you being a security expert, the violent one. Um, there's a video going around circulating on social media where in which the soldiers are seen to have... Look, Just look at the video and then we, we, we talk about it. Why should put it? You need to move the warning. I can't see. Show the original video I sent in the group now. Guys. Hmm. Mr. Finzi. Highly improper. You're in full uniform. Armed. 
protective vests. What mm. she do? You see him kick her in her stomach? You say what she could have do you? Well, I know I'm almost certain you're going to hear provocation. But what form of provocation would make you, whether she's pregnant or she's just of a return? But she looked pregnant. What would make you? She was she was walking around him, you know. And he literally dragged her back into the target zone. I hope that some of our security forces are not taking sucker from the Minister of National Security saying. Shoot and explain after. Yes. I can't believe it though. I really can't believe how they dealt with the woman. I have three daughters. God rest her soul had a mother. I have one sister. And I have nothing but love for women. Why would you do that? And then wonder why the community don't like you. That could have been somebody's mother. Mm. And then I wonder why people upset are willing to do things in the areas they're in. There's an old Jamaican saying, you know, every uh -huh. in the pasture could be a bull's mama. Mm. So if but she that... has a son who take head pain over that and waiting in the dark with a gun for the first thing he see in uniform, he do him have to be the one who do it. But it's like these days the security forces have no respect for human rights. No respect and regard for human rights. You just fling the woman. You know why that Keep disturbs me? I have been mm. one of those saying that the last bastion of common decency in this country is the military. Wow. Can we show it? I can't believe. Just no, show it one more. Me that the people of the of Mo Wow. Wow. He's going to say that she spat on him. But he brought her from behind him in front of him. She was going. Why stop her? Hmm? What is life in this country? Cheap. What is life in this country? Cheap. And I'm pretty sure she's pregnant. I'm pretty sure she's pregnant. If she is, but, she's doing damage to herself because she had rum and boom. Hmm? But that is not for us to say. It's her body, her decision, what she wants to put in it. But no. No. But I'd want to hear Horace Chan's response to this. How long are you waiting? Mm. I don't even know how long to wait on Horace Chang and his response to it. Knowing him, it's going to be, oh, let me check this call. Hello, caller. Good night. Hello. Hello, Mr. Andrew Stevens. Yes, good night. How are you? I'm good. How can we assist you? Okay, this question does, does not pertain to the thing you are on right now, but I'm asking you, who won the election? Oh, who won the election? The People's National Party yes, won the election. It will be declared tomorrow. Okay, can you please big up? Can you please can you please big up Terence Johnson for me? Terence Johnson. Yes, Miss. All right, best up Terence Johnson. 
Thanks for watching the program. All right. Yes, miss. All right, bless you. Yes, sir. You can tell what school they go to. He's a good school. He's a good student, man. Yeah, because but female teachers go there, so that that's a standard response. Yes, miss. Oh. And not even go respond. You see you. Hmm. I mean, what in the laughing fine here? What what is in here to laugh at? One or two extra man. So out in the light in here tonight. <laughs> As a threat. No, I'm not. Um, but I want to thank Mr. Finzi. For coming here. Mm. Mm. Yes, man. But I want to say to people tonight, you see, if you call and don't get the program, don't be offended. Because I get on average 500 to 1,000 missed calls between 8 o'clock to... Uh, 10 o'clock and sometimes even over the show uh next week i'm going to take zoom in somewhat on health perspective because i have a lot of senior persons who watches the program and i'm sure they want to speak to a doctor so i'm in the process of fine-tuning a doctor to come to the program once per week so that they can do a half or to 45 minutes discussing health matters just as how I have a resident, a Mr. Finzi, to come on a Thursday night to discuss all matters involving Jamaica. But thanks again, Mr. Finzi, and I look forward to seeing you next week, Thursday. God willing, on the creek, don't rise. May I say uh, something in leaving? Yes. I would like to thank everybody who joined the live and mm -hmm. would like to encourage those who have not yet done so to listen up when they can. But I want everyone to support Mr. Stevens in his doing feeding of the indigent on the streets because it we never know whose life might be saved by a meal that they never anticipated. Mm. And it is, it, is, it is something that, and it's amazing, a lot of the so-called Christians don't think about it. But the Lord uses fishes and barley loaves to feed thousands we don't have fishes yes. and barley loaves but we would like assistance if i might be so bold andre to ask on your behalf we'd like assistance to stop people on the streets from being hungry mm. that's technically all i have to say for this all right thank you for that endorsement but tonight was a simple night thank you for all who came to the platform and thanks to mr finzi smith as i said but what's up me jamaica and tell me the issues in regarding to health that you'd want to be discussed sending your suggestions to me so i can look at them as how we can improve the platform and remember you can send in your advertisements over the platform we have a special going for the month of march into april so if you want your advertisement to go just remember to send an email to advertisementspdtv at gmail.com. But my name is Andre Stevens, and this was the Andre Stevens Show. Until tomorrow night at 8 p.m. when myself, Isaac Buchanan, and Mr. Rattigan will be here to discuss the nation business. Until then, Jamaica. Good night, and be blessed.